I did I did a video like two weeks ago or something like that called eight women one guy. Here's the opposite. It's ten guys one woman. I want to see how they treat her because if she's ugly, I can promise you now the ugliest dude gonna end up with her. No cap. Men are a lot more like brutal. So I want to see how they treat her if she's ugly. Hey, it could be a case where she'll get nobody. Baby, you ugly? Oh, that's crazy. Hey, but look, um, <laughs> um, if you're new, subscribe. It's free. Uh, like the video. You know what I'm saying? I'm just curious to see how these men treat this woman. No cap. You know, I'm an alpha male. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I believe in all the, all the conspiracy alpha male theories. You know what I'm saying? Women are objects. You know, I'm, I need to stop talking. Bro, let's just get the video started. <laughs> Facts, drink your water. I'm so nervous. Okay, I'm so nervous. I'm so nervous, but it's okay. Oh, she's cute. Hi. She got the bad shit in her room. All right, hold on. I'm going to make a prediction. So this is her. I'm going to say... Brody right here is gonna get her unless he likes men, but I think I think Brody right here is gonna end up with her or this guy with the fake chains. You did not get on set wearing fake diamonds. This nigga's a fraud. That's crazy. So nervous. So nervous. But that's why I think the nigga with the pink like horizontal stripes is gonna get her. That seemed like his speed. Hi, I'm Mabel. I'm 22. I'm originally from Nashville, Tennessee. If you would swipe but you're the only 10 I right see. On Mabel, you will stay. If you would swipe. If you would swipe right, if all, if one, if none of them leave, well, look. Here's a testament how how real men are. If you use Tinder, you know what I'm saying, they can just swipe. So if any of them leave, that means that nigga really trying to find a potential wife on that motherfucker. Uh, <laughs> they already be looking, he's trying to swipe. And go take a seat. Damn, they actually use Tinder legitimately. <laughs> Legit. Instead of just swiping. Thanks, Robin. I don't Are they drinking it. champagne? Next Shit. <laughs> was they drinking champagne on the other video? I thought they were drinking like Hennessy in the other video. Oh, no. Or some, I hate some a little less classy. Scares me every time. <laughs> Shake it up a little bit, too. Oh. <laughs> hey, yo, yo. Hold on, hold on. I'm in a ring. Zip it off. <laughs> oh. <laughs> There we go. Oh, <laughs> thank you. You know what I'm saying? Tell me when to stop. Would you get your degree? This right here really want the buns. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> I work in influencer strategy. How old are you guys? Wait. Influencer yeah. strategy? She just saw she just made up a job. Nigga, wait, 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 wait. What? Influencer strategy? What is this bitch talking about? <laughs> also, my face cam is off. Hold on, let me fix this. Nigga, that is a made up job, influencer strategy. Nigga, I do influencer strategy. Everything I do is influencer strategy. I have to come up with a title, figure out a thumbnail, and then post the video and figure out how to promote it. Bitch, you do my, you, you tell me you do my job? What is she talking about? She just made up a job, literally. What the hell? You could have said you were an influencer manager. I, that would have made more sense. But strategy? Nigga, you probably don't do anything. I do strategy. I have to figure out how to promote y'all to get to my IG and stuff. What is she talking about? Three. I just took offense 21. to that, no 21. cap. 21. 21. 22. Uh -huh. Old enough. <laughs> <laughs> w. Okay. Good boy, funny. 20. 20. 23. Okay. I really like museums. I like art. Okay, I like that nigga about to walk out. I like music a lot. What music do you listen to? I really like Brockhampton, but other artists I listen to, like I have like my like teeny bop, like I have One Direction. I love One Direction. Oh, okay. And if you don't, they also probably just crazy. leave. <laughs> um, I like Harry Styles, obviously. I'm a big um, fan. I like Harry Styles. I'm a Zayn fan. I'm, I'm telling like you, my nigga little smooth guy right here. I like Harry Styles with them butt, them crusty ass shoes. Okay, I respect it. Zayn fan? Oh, <laughs> that nigga no, want that. Zayn's great. I have like a record player and I have like jazz music. So I have like Louis Armstrong. Oh, I have a whole record player and a Louis Armstrong record. He's great. I, I like before in high school, I would like get to school early. This is so nerdy and like sit there and like listen to jazz music. If I had like an exam or something and like get my mind in the space and be like, let's go, Mabel. Can you tell us like a little bit about like your fashion sense? Like, oh, you bro, I'm telling you, that nigga's <laughs> fucking, bro. Bro, I'm telling you right now, this nigga is a winner. He asking the right questions. How do you like to dress? You know what I'm saying? I like jazz. I fuck with Harry Styles. Like, this nigga's a cool guy. Not to me, but to her. You know what I'm saying? If I was her, panties off. You know what I'm saying? You fuck with the same shit I fuck with. 
fashion sense. Like, you oh, seem yeah. super stylish. Yeah. I see the boots and like the jacket. Thank like, you. Yeah, very cool. The past year, I hated my clothing because I did go to like a southern school where it was like, you know, sorority girls and everything, which it wasn't my style. So then once I finally like left that bubble, I was like, all right, I need to find some dope ass pieces of clothing. And so I kind of go for like an edgier look now. I really like black, I really like leather. I'm into like skater boys and like skate culture and, and just like the skater good that skate boys. culture does. Well, I'll tell you right now, he's the closest to look. Okay, so based on shoes, right? Hold on. All right, I need to find some dope ass pieces of clothing. And so I kind of go. Okay, skater boys. If you're skating, you're wearing something like, you're wearing like, these are like SBs. Like they're skateboard shoes, skateboard shoes. What's it called? I wouldn't skate in Chucks. I wouldn't skate in Forces. The niggas, if she's in the skater boys, the closest, if we're just talking about fashion sense, the closest is him and him. And they look like they skate. He's wearing skinny jeans. His jeans are a little bit looser, but he has SBs on so he can hit a ollie. His, his, he's wearing skinnier jeans, but he's wearing Forces. I wouldn't skate in Forces unless they were beat up. He might skate in Forces, but I, this nigga too damn tall to be... That nigga like 6'3". I doubt... Actually, this nigga has a good shot too. I ain't gonna lie with that chain. But, um, pause. He's just a tall guy. Women like tall men. But, um... Nah, that nigga too big to be skateboarding. That nigga fall, he might really break his hips. <laughs> Go for like an edgier look now. I really like black, I really like leather. I'm into like skater boys and like skate culture and, and just like the good that skate culture does for like communities. But that was a really nice question. Thank you. <laughs> Craziest college experience. Crazy. <laughs> that nigga wanna know shit. Me and my friend Emily. That's why you asked that. That nigga shot fast. She was sucking cock out here. That's why he asked that. That's a freak nigga. I'm not gonna lie, bro. Like, why you at? I don't know what you was doing in college. You could have been out here getting your little, man. Bro, watch out, bro. Actually, stayed up till 7 a.m. because we wanted to wait for the McDonald's chicken biscuits, which Ooh. they don't have here, which was, to my surprise, devastating. Oh, like, they don't have chicken, chicken biscuits. biscuits. Oh, my God. Don't have, in California, I don't have McDonald's chicken biscuits in the morning. I don't eat McDonald's, but nigga, that's fucking weird. That's weird as fuck. But then again, in Georgia, they don't even have hot and spicy. And I haven't had a hot sp Nigga, you know how long it's been since I've been to McDonald's and got a hot... Do you know what a hot and spicy is? How many of y'all live on the West Coast? Let me, I'll show you what a hot and spicy is. This, this is a hot and spicy. This is from Mickey D's. They don't serve these on the East Coast. It's a, it's a hot, it's a hot chicken patty with, with mayo and lettuce. That's it. What's it called? They don't have these on the, on the East Coast. Nigga, when I found, the old, I think they only have it in LA and Arizona. If I'm not mistaken. Because I tried to order one in Texas, they didn't have them. I, it's ridiculous, but they're so good, bro. That's why I ain't been in McDonald's in forever, outside of the fact that shit will really make your body explode. We both fell asleep in my bed eating our chicken biscuits. What would your previous relationships like say is the best that was part a whack of your personality? Story. Like what I've learned from my pre like previous relationships? Yeah, sure. Um, I think I've learned to just like be really independent. I think my the past guys that I've been with, I just learned that I can't count on them. Oh, that's and sucks. yeah, but she like not a, in a bad way. Hey, she got a sad backstory. I can't depend on my man. What kind of nigga are you? Like what kind of shit is that? Look here, buddy. When I'm in a relationship, she got my full support. What you want to do? Like, that sounds insane. She said I had to learn to be independent. I can't depend on, on the men that I've been with. Nigga, you know how sad that sounds? <laughs> oh, <laughs> hey, my nigga with the pink sweater. Tell her what's up. You can depend on me. You know what I'm saying? In a way that it made me realize I can only really count on myself. Mm -hmm. And I, like, stopped dating guys and everything for like a year. And now I'm in that space where I'm like, okay, I'm ready to be like independent, but I'm ready to like have someone be independent with me yeah. and we can like rule the world. Like yeah. that's what I want. Yeah, that's wonderful. Yeah. That codependency yeah. is like an anchor sometimes. I feel yeah. like you should be able to be independent together. We can be able to go out together, but also like I have my group of friends and you don't need me and vice versa. Yeah, right. yeah, definitely. Right, for sure. Ryan and Mabel. You're, 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 you're chopping up, you're like, so like, and you're like, <laughs> <laughs> like that's crazy. I was like, yo, their, their connection. If I'm you like, notice, Ron, if this if this is Ryan, he's low key the spiciest nigga here. He's not really that handsome. Mabel wasn't that pretty. I'm not, I'm not trying to say she was ugly, but I can tell you right now, men know what men want. Like who's in who's in who's league? I'm telling you, as a man, you know if you're attractive or not. And I'm saying if 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 Ryan's a six, Mabel's in that six seven range. No cap. Like, ah, oh, man, I'm definitely gonna But you leave. see how, like, the men are fucking, like, straight up getting to it. In the other video, the women were playing these ped pedantics and acting stupid. No, nigga, just get straight to the point. Nigga, who looks the best with her? Who has the most, like, chemistry with her? The men are much more...
I'm saying it's like this. They've been talking for more than two seconds. But, like, he immediately picked somebody. The women didn't do that in that video. If I remember correctly, they were sitting there just chatting it up for, like, ten minutes. Dude, saying nothing. So I started drinking. Men are a lot more direct. college experience. I've had a lot of, I mean, going to, like, a southern school. <laughs> I'm giving it to Ricky, though. I think they had that little music connection. I was like, I was like, oh, jazz, okay. You know jazz, what I'm saying? Oh, jazz. I mean, I'm going to give it to my man right here, like, Bruh, if, if she doesn't date you, I will. <laughs> what? Let's see. Definitely, that nigga was not interested in none she had to say. Bro, put it like to your body, cause you can look at it. You can see the name behind. Wait, what? <laughs> Is my handwriting that bad? I'm like trying not to like. But you see how all the men are in agreement. That that nigga Alex with the fake chains, this fucking fraud, <laughs> fraud ass nigga. But you see how that nigga didn't even seem interested in what she was talking about. And like we can go back here, look. If we go back, if you look through all the little previews, that nigga did not seem interested. Nothing she had to say. Seriously. But all the men were in congruence. The women voted on each other. Like. Instead of just picking who the fuck was not paying attention. No, I mean, I didn't talk much. That's on me. The one on ones. I want to see something spicy. Somebody getting to get in get those. Hey, Digging her soul. You? I'm good. I'm going to shake your hand. Oh, oh, another handshake. Oh, I like your rings. This is a pretty surreal experience. <laughs> How are this you? This nigga acting nervous. Anxious, mesmerized by you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. That nigga said mesmerized by you. That nigga got the rings on deck. <laughs> and I would say some shit like that. I ain't gonna lie. You know what I'm saying? Just consumed by your, by your beauty. Don't don't steal my lingo. But you know what I'm saying? You got to make her feel good. That nigga, hey, he got rings. I promise. Okay. Were you in a fraternity? I was. I could tell you, I kind of feel like the way you pop the bottle of champagne. So, I wanted to know what your best pickup line is. Oh, God. That's a strange um, ass question. I on their outfit first. I like your outfit, actually. I like the shoelace. That's cool. I've done that before. They're like this. Yeah, I didn't have a belt today. I was like, oh. The shoelace. Deep. I thought about that too with these. What's your zodiac sign? <laughs> Ew, this I'm nigga is nasty. Ooh, what about you? She's meticulous. I get a lot of hate. I'm a Gemini. Oh. <laughs> oh. Too faced. I'm never going to be the person. Hey, as a grown ass man, you should not be believing in Gemini and, and, and zodiacs. You know what I'm saying? Me as a grown man, I'm not going for that. So if you believe in Zodiacs, you're a weird nigga. That shit don't exist. Stop. Stop. You know how many women believe in Zodiac because they ain't believe in nothing else? Bitch, if y'all get to know me, like, what kind of shit is that? Person that's like, no, I'm not dating you because you're a Gemini. I'm except Aquariuses. I don't know if I should have down though. You know I'm an Aquarius. Uh, you're, you're the Aquarius? Um, I heard them all being like, you shot me in the heart. I'm hurt. sorry. I'm sorry. I like him. I, that cool. I like how your necklace kind of That nigga name is Ke This core ball ass nigga is named Cameron. Wait, 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 what? I'm sorry. I was gonna say. This nigga is named. Oh my god! Oh my god! Why did I get to. Why, why is he named my. He's lame! I thought he was cool for Mabel, but I wouldn't hang out with bro. Why is his name, Nikki's his name is spelled exactly the same way as mine. I gotta, I should cut the video off of that. I'm like, come on, bro. Why this nigga gotta be named Cameron? He couldn't be named fucking Diego. That's racist. But like, you know what I mean? He's a corny guy. Like the way he talk. Bro, this nigga don't match my vibe. Like, come on, bro. What the also, fuck? I like how your necklace kind of matches. Like, why did my shit start okay. when I slammed the desk? My shit, bro. I'm upset. I'm not gonna lie to you. That. Do you, yeah. do you do them yourself or do you get them? Oh, I do them myself. I do them. <laughs> Can you do mine, please? I need help. I totally got you. I got you. Thank I you. Thick ass nails? brows. Oh, what? Your nails? Oh, my nails. Mm, that nigga swag is crazy. Yeah, you did good job. You did all right. <laughs> no, they look. They look.
look kind of stupid, but thank you. We're going to get you right. It's fine. <laughs> what about you? Do you have any career goals? I work, as I said, in influencer strategy. I think that there is a future to that whole realm like, of yeah. social media, which a lot of people I feel look down upon. There's people out there that are influencers that do a lot of damage, but then there's a lot of them who are like smaller followings that are amazing people and yeah, get definitely. really good resources out there. Yeah, no, I think that's wonderful. Awareness. Like, you're really like, bro, he ain't even got no mustache. His name is Cameron. Like, it's spelled the exact same way as my name. Grow a beard, something, my guy. You you got a baby face, and you look, bro. I'm like, that's the only thing I'm focused on right now. The nigga has no game, no facial hair, mid personality. Like, why is this? Why he named my name? He couldn't be Diego. Santiago, like why? You know, like spread that like good vibes. And, like, yeah. Good message. I vibe with that. So what do you plan to do after you graduate? I want to get into the cadet program to officially become the firefighter. So once I'm there, kind of work towards those goals. That nigga I built like, like nice though. Helping and, like rehabilitating sea lions. I love animals. I wanted to be like a vet when I was younger. I was like, I want to take be around animals all the time. I definitely want to like cut out meat and like for the like the animal reason. Mm -hmm. I was vegetarian for two years. Why do men like this nigga clearly could grow a mustache like you can see the hair on his lip. Why do men shave your mustache bro? That shit is nasty. Y'all niggas like walk around looking creepy. That clean shaven look is not a vibe bro. Fuck that. We really want to like cut out meat and like for the like the animal reason. Mm -hmm. I was vegetarian for two years in high school. Really? I saw this documentary. It's called If Slaughterhouses Had Glass Walls. And I was traumatized. And so I refused meat. And then I had chicken. <laughs> and then I was like, ah, I miss meat. But yes, I would love to get to a point where I could be. I vegan. bet you do. I know a really good like vegan spot where they have like vegan tacos and burritos. Oh. Around OC. That sounds pretty ideal. It's probably the best place to go on a first okay. date. But what do you like? What are you into? I love movies. Ooh, my dad gonna like you. Number one movie. Any Leonardo DiCaprio movie. <laughs> I love La La Land. Oh my god, La La Land's so good. The jazz especially. I know you're into jazz. I am into jazz. I actually know how to play one of their songs. No way. Yeah, so I, I could serenade you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this thing is spicy. Think the right ages to have a kid. My parents got married at like 28. I want to like live my life a little and then have that companion and travel together and then like get married and then start a family in like my 30s and stuff. How many kids would you want? Three. Ooh, she knows. <laughs> yeah, I grew up with a family of five, and I like three, I like a that little size. I think it's a good size. Awesome. All right, thank you. It was yeah, nice talking yeah. to you. Yeah. Well, um, thanks for chit chatting. Yeah, of course. It was nice to meet you. You too. That nigga did not look interesting. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I think the Asian nigga got it, bro. He was really chatting it up with her. I'll give it to that nigga. He was really. How many kids do you want? You know what I'm like? He was like really into it. I think he got it. I ain't gonna lie. I don't know what the nigga, the firefighter nigga. I think he got it. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> you know he a flirt in the back. That boy, that boy spit the most game. I be like, dang. Ryan, <laughs> what did I do? A little flirtation. Y'all, I'm telling y'all I was not flirting that way. Oh, that nigga came and let me see your nails. That nigga was flirting smooth. It is definitely Richard. They all seem like really genuine, so I trust them. <laughs> One, two, three. Oh my god, hi! What? <laughs> you gave it to that nigga, the nigga who's the vegan? You're not gonna give it to. Oh, Rich. Jeter, that's what. I don't know how to say the name. But that nigga was spitting game. Y'all gave it to Richard because he's a vegan? But y'all niggas is tweaking. They all seem like really genuine, so. That's crazy. I, I can't believe them. that. <laughs> I guess he did have the most in common, or he's a vegan, etc. But like, nah, that nigga's tweaking. I already gave it to the to the firefighter nigga. Good. I mean, I'm definitely happy with the outcome. Yeah, I'm happy too, actually. Are You're you? like super nice and like easy to talk to, so yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah, he's super nice. Thank you. <laughs> that ugly ass chain. It's gonna, it's gonna be Ryan because of the tallest, or it's gonna be uh, Jeter. Round two. Okay. Put Jeter. 
Oh, uh, yep. Called it. That nigga was spicy, I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> Told you that nigga was spicy. <laughs> <laughs> I told you that nigga was spicy. She was fucking with my nigga drip. I'm telling you, that nigga was spicy. Oh, no. Jether, remember no. this. Only because okay, I really like his style, no. and then I thought we had a really good conversation. But I would like to exchange numbers with you too. So. Okay. I was back there. I was actually like, it was like them too that I was like talk like talking. She's about, lying like so. a motherfucker. She knows she wanted, bro. I think. All three of us. <laughs> she said all three of us, she trying to get tag teamed. Hey, that's a freak, hey, that's a freak ass bitch. <laughs> hey, that's crazy. All three of us. Nigga, what? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, I think separately. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah. Alright, okay, cool. If it wasn't him, then it had to be me. How was it? Oh. <laughs> I mean, I voted for him. I voted for him too. That nigga feel like the second option. That was spicy, I ain't gonna lie. That was a freak bitch, I ain't gonna lie. No, let me chill, she wasn't that freaky. But um, look, if you enjoyed this video, smash that like button, subscribe, it's free. Damn, I stretched this to a 20 minute video. <laughs> My fault, I'm probably talking too much. Um, Smash that like button, subscribe, it's free. I'll catch y'all on the next one. <laughs>